Last week, a group of Sinn Féin councillors and activists went on a tour of England, which they boasted was the largest ever carried out by an Irish political party. Among those to provide them with a platform and facilities was the Labour-controlled Camden Council. I'd like to say that our tour, uh, which is almost complete, has been very, very successful from our point of view. The tour has not only included uh, a very extensive trip to London, but also we have uh, members in um, Birmingham, Manchester, Le Leicester and Sheffield and other areas. Controversy dogged the councillors. At this news conference, their plan to visit Brighton, scene of the bomb attack on Mrs Thatcher, was probed by Fleet Street reporters. Have you read the remarks from uh, the Brighton MP in the Telegraph this morning about the proposed visit by yourselves to Brighton? I haven't certainly read any of his remarks, um, whoever the MP happens to be. If I read the remarks to you, uh, Sinn Féin and the IRA are one and the same thing, and I know that the people of Brighton will be appalled at the decision to allow them to return after the cowardly bombing of the Grand Hotel. I think it's rather insensitive that uh, British MPs who are elected in Britain, and not by anybody from Ireland, choose to come over and impose their will upon us. How do you assess the impact of your tour? We think it's been very, very important. Um, the, the very wide range of groups that we have met this week and the uh, commitments that we've received from many of them to both visit Ireland and to continue on uh, the, the dialogue with ourselves despite the controversy. Uh, surrounding the trip. In terms of the overall political impact, it, it's registered about zero in, in the UK generally. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't accept that. I mean, obviously, uh, we have uh, concentrated this tour on uh, many groups within the Labour movement in general, and also a whole series of community groups and so on. And I think that those meetings have been very successful. I mean, I think that uh, we have been careful to ensure that those whom we have met this week have been very representative uh, of their own communities and their own groups. And uh, to that extent, then, we, we would contest the fact that this tour has, been, uh, has had a negligible, negligible effect. But there has been no impact on mainstream politics. Mrs Thatcher and Mr Kinnock have both denounced the validity of what you're doing. Well, I think the fact that uh, the British Prime Minister and Neil Kinnock have had to actually deal with the issue uh, uh, points to the fact that they, have, that they have, in fact, been affected by the, the tour itself. The incident which grabbed the biggest headlines of the week involved a Liberal councillor. He fired a starting pistol inside the town hall in protest at Hackney Council's invitation to Sinn Féin. Reporter Tim Cooper tape recorded the scenes of panic. Maskey was invited to address the council and uh, he was just in the process of thanking the councillors for inviting him over. Mr. Sinn Féin, I would like to thank you all for extending this invitation. And after about 10 seconds, Ryan stood up, took the gun out of his jacket. He moved across the benches and stood in the centre of the council chamber. The council leader, Andrew Pudifat, went across to remonstrate with him and grabbed hold of his lapels and uh, Ryan pointed the gun towards his face. It went off inches from the side of his face. About a dozen Labour councillors jumped out of the front benches and poured towards him and Ryan moved towards the door through a chair behind him to impede them. As he got towards the door, he was caught by them. They all piled in on top of him. Some of them were trying to punch him. His face was grabbed and uh, a third shot went off in the struggle as uh, he was disarmed and the gun fell to the ground and he was eventually pushed out of the chamber altogether. What was Alex Maskey's reaction? Maskey was reading from a prepared text. As the, when the gun went off, he, he shelved the text and he just stood there completely impassively. But more interesting was the reaction of Barbara de Grun, who the information officer who was sitting in the centre of the chamber in a chair. And she sat facing the mayor against all the other people and she was she just sat there with her hands on her knees completely impassive as Ryan was behind her firing the second shot he walked within a few feet of her with the gun in his hand and at no stage as far as I can recall did she even turn round to see what was going on she just sat there looking in front of her my view on, on the issue was that he had been uh, ranting for quite some time prior to that particular incident and um, I think that 
our experiences in some councils in the north at home has uh, led us to uh, accept many of these uh, incidents as you might say a stunt while that one in fact was a particularly serious incident. Of course other people would say it's your association with the IRA that per would perhaps prepare you for that kind of thing. Well I mean I, I don't know if I mean, you can say it or not. I mean I think that uh, obviously uh, in the north um, we have to be careful. We uh, are constantly surrounded in controversy. I mean I think our intention at the meeting the other night was simply to speak uh, and address the council in a reasonable manner, put our point to the council and uh, the fact that that particular councillor wasn't able to accept that, well that's his problem.